I have a quarter million dollars to invest. Somebody close me. So Claude, I mean, how quickly would you want to get into a property? That's not something you'd want to do in the next well, couple months, is it? Well, I, uh, well, it's right. Here's my problem. I got all this money from the Chihuahua Insurance Fund. Um, poor, poor little Rover. Um, uh, he's part of the Macadam right now. Um, uh, what, um, what, you know, my, and my bank is paying me one half of 1%. I mean, it's safe, it's there, but I, can I do better? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you're only getting, you know, point something interest, it's pointless, Claude. I mean, you could be getting double digit returns. Is that something maybe you'd be interested in? Yeah, double digit returns, is it safe? Yeah, absolutely. It's real safe. It's a great, great thing that you asked that. You seem like a smart guy who yeah, looks for safe wanted. investments. Yeah, real estate's one of the safest investments you can make. Okay, now use the word imagine, get a tentative closing, uh, get a tentative commitment, set up an appointment and use scarcity. Hey, we're at a cocktail party. You don't really wanna talk about this now, but imagine if I could give you a 18% return. You, my schedule's kind of busy, but you sound like a good guy. Suppose I squeeze you in at tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning and we discuss this at a, night, at a proper venue. Is that what, does that make sense? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Go ahead, close me. Use all scarcity, uh, 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 greed, everything. Make me comfortable, engage me. So Claude, you seem like a really sharp guy, but this doesn't really seem like the, the time and place to chat about this. I, it sounds like, you know, you wanna get some double digit returns. You wanna have a safe investment, make some good money. So, I mean, my schedule is pretty full tomorrow, but maybe I could squeeze you in tomorrow morning. Do you think that would be appropriate? Would that work for you? That's exactly, that's exactly, you know, I've been waiting to meet somebody who could give me, you sound like a straight shooter, thank you. And I apologize, I know this is a social thing and everything. Yeah, 8.30 would be great. Um, do I call you or we Zoom or how do I, uh, do I come to your office? What should I do? Yeah, here, give me your number. I'll text you the address and we'll, we'll go from there. But don't, don't worry about it tonight, man. Just uh, got any more questions about skiing? Good enough. Boom, there we go. I'm, and I'm just showing you guys a little bit of my notes here the who, what, where, and I will send you this uh, later today. Uh, 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 here are all my notes, shock and awe on everything we do in these pattern intros. Nice going, okay. Um, by the way, you wanna get him on video. Why do I always say that? Mm. And you wanna take, you know, I'm real busy, but you're a good guy. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna cancel a couple other appointments and can you, you couldn't do 8.30 tomorrow morning, could you? If I cancel a few other things. Yeah, that's good. Boom. Is he going to show up? Is he curious? Did you, did you raise, is he hungry like the wolf? Duran, Duran. Um, <laughs> I love that song. Is he, what's going to be going through his mind when you just cut him off, you stop talking business, but you enticed him with a 18% return on real estate or whatever. And then you said, you're going to do him a special favor. What do you think's getting it going in his mind as he walks away and goes to the bar for another Manhattan? Damn, I'm feeling good. I'm gonna make some money. Yeah. What else? What else? Give me some emotional. What did you create in him emotionally? How does he feel about you? He feels very positive, enthusiastic, excited. Whose responsibility is it to create that in one cocktail party? The salesperson, sure. Yes. But if you're, if we're the obvious guy, salesperson, everybody here, when you go out in the world, okay, and we're not going out as much as we used to, but when you go out and you meet a really bad salesperson, hi, how are you today? This is California, by the way. This is the California uh, thing. You go into, uh, you go to a CVS, hi, how are you today? How can I help you? Isn't it a wonderful day? We're having a special on SpongeBob floor mats. You know, I mean, Right away, what do you? What do we all say? Oh, not interested. Oh, no thanks. Just looking. Right? Yeah. Instant yeah. rejection. Okay. So how do we turn that around? We have to. We have to. We have to ask the questions or stimulate some kind of conversation uh, with that person. Um, we. Uh, I'm gonna leave my notes here. Uh, can we do this in social, like we just did? Is social a good place if it's a common venue? If you're at a a cocktail party from a real estate club. Is that a good place to meet prospects?